Welcome to Aero TV's daily update from EAA AirVenture Oshkosh for Monday, July 27, 2009. Monday was AirVenture's official opening day. As is tradition, Tom Poberezny, president of the Experimental Aircraft Association, took time to welcome media to the event. The attendance uh, expectations we had have been exceeded. Uh, our advanced ticket, ticket sales are running 33% ahead of last year. Uh, I don't expect the attendance to be up 33%, but all the numbers right now are running significantly ahead of last year and far ahead of expectation, uh, which indicates, uh, number one, the value of this event to the aviation community, and more importantly, people are ready to, uh, to get back engaged after a tough uh, economic situation over the last six to eight months. So it's very, very encouraging. The response has been outstanding, uh, both in all areas. People are driving in, flying in, walking in, whatever the case may be. You know, it reinforces EA's approach to aviation. EA's the four P's of aviation. It's planes, and the planes are here in great variety. The people, the people have come in great numbers. You have to have a passion, and the people here who have the passion, and it's a way to participate. Planes, people, passion, participation. It's a winning formula, and uh, we expect this, this year to have a tremendous impact on not people's, only their psyche but and their emotions, but on the industry also. I think this is an opportunity to make a, a positive impact on the industry. Positive growth was evident throughout the news of the day. Cirrus Aircraft co-founder and vice chairman Dale Klapmeyer sat down with Aero TV to give us an update on the long-awaited company rebound after a year of economic downturn. I, I'm not sure where we're going. I don't know when this industry is coming back to where it was a few years ago, but I think the worst is over. So we've brought back some people. We're all the way up to 50% of where we were, but we're, we're still down 50%. So the industry is really struggling still. Uh, we're struggling as far as numbers being down down to that point, but but we're off the bottom. Continuing the atmosphere of rebound, Piper announced its addition of the Garmin G600 glass avionics suite to its primary trainers, its twin engine aircraft, and the newly revamped Piper Archer that will come to market next year. We have some great things uh, planned, and we're actually starting to execute those. I don't. I would say never uh, since I've been with the company have I been so excited about the future of Piper Aircraft. Um, strong ownership backing. Uh, really expect to see some really exciting things coming out of Vero Beach. Aero TV's daily update from EAA AirVenture 2009 will continue in a moment. The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology. Welcome back to Aero TV's daily update from EAA AirVenture Oshkosh. Despite questionable weather, Monday featured several exciting aircraft arrivals. Though the event needed no more water, the Ericsson S-64F air crane helitanker, called Elvis, arrived with an exciting firebombing demonstration for crowds. Crowds also enjoyed the futuristic Icon A5, as well as the exciting debut of the Virgin Galactic Mothership Eve at the afternoon showcase. Sir Richard Branson had these words to say about his arrival at AirVenture 2009. Anytime I wake up, um, I have to pinch myself, and the, the idea of waking up and uh, this morning and realizing that uh, the mothership to our spaceship was coming into town, um, it was an exciting morning to wake up to. Aero TV's daily update from EAA AirVenture 2009 will continue in a moment. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system, with its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.
Join us again tomorrow on Aero TV's daily update from EAA AirVenture Oshkosh.